Before this video begins, I have a quick little announcement for some of you. I have to tell you that if you like my content, and you like E3, I'll soon be doing an E3 video talking about at least the three big companies, Sony, Microsoft, and Nintendo. If you want, keep that in mind, you can subscribe, and you'll, instead of just having to look up Zero Productions every two days, just to see if I made one of those videos. Again, not mandatory whatsoever, totally your choice. Enjoy the video. Hey guys, it's Zero Productions here, and before this video starts, I have to give a shout out to everyone who subscribed to my channel. I am currently at 73 subscribers, and... I got 7 subscribers all together yesterday. Now, for big YouTubers, that's gonna sound like horrible numbers, but for a small channel like mine, those are fantastic numbers. 7 subscribers in one day, and that is, thank you. So also, I'll be doing an E3 video as you saw in the beginning, so if you want to subscribe, you can. Again, totally your choice, and yeah. So basically FIFA 18 is coming out. I don't really care too much about FIFA. I understand its importance and I I don't I don't I just don't think I'll I'll buy one. But I love how um I love how big of a role FIFA plays and I know lots of people that play FIFA. Well, FIFA 18 is coming out and it'll be on all the major consoles except the Switch. Well, yeah, it's not going to get there's not going to be FIFA 18 on the Switch. Now, before people start crying, I have to tell you that there is going to be a new FIFA game on the Switch. It's just not called FIFA 18. It's called FIFA on Switch. And this is what uh, Rich Rich Grisham, I'm, I might have said that wrong, I probably did. But let me read out his tweet. FIFA 18 on Switch is a great thing. So what if it's totally not on par with PS4 or Xbox One versions? It's a portable FIFA. That's fantastic. Grisham is... He he really understands that power isn't everything, and it's all it's all it's like 60% games, 40% power when it comes to game consoles, and that's why Microsoft you gotta have exclusives and you gotta have those games to get people to buy your thing. So even if the, your your console is underpowered, if it has like so much more great games or great titles compared to the competition, even if the competition's like way more powerful. You're gonna you're gonna sell more. It's just it's just like that. So that's why I feel like that FIFA on Switch is a great thing. I agree with this guy because yes, yeah, it's, it's not as powerful, but it's it's like FIFA on the go. What more can you ask for? It's it's exactly like I understand that people are gonna be disappointed that they're not getting FIFA 18, but still this game like you have to understand that. FIFA on Nintendo Switch is still FIFA. It's not like a whole different EA. It's not like EA Sports is not making this. They are. And just a little side note. Side note to mention: uh, FIFA 18 will be running the Frostbite engine, and FIFA on Switch will have a different version. So basically, it will not have the frost. Um, the Frostlight. Frost. Frostlight. Uh, it will not have the Frost. Frostbite engine, and it will also not have Journey mode. So, it's literally just FIFA on the Nintendo Switch. But, still, I think that this is a very good thing that needs to happen, and I'm glad that we're finally going to see more of these games on the Switch. The more, like, the more games that are available on PS4 and Xbox One, the more they, they the more games that are cross-platform for those things, including the Switch, is going to be better for the thing, because that's how we know that developers are liking the thing. So, yeah, I don't care too much about FIFA, I understand its importance, but that's what I think of it. Alright guys, please leave your thoughts in the comment section below, and see you.